San Diego is one of the country's most popular tourist destinations, attracting more than 32 million visitors every year. Chula Vista, the county's second largest city with 250,000 residents, is just a 15-minute drive from both San Diego International Airport and the world's busiest border crossing between the United States and Mexico. The city of Chula Vista, the Port of San Diego, which manages San Diego Bay Tidelands, and Pacifica Companies, a private real estate developer, have partnered on a project that will attract even more visitors to the region. The largest remaining waterfront development opportunity in Southern California, the Chula Vista Bayfront, encompasses 535 acres of prime waterfront buttressed between two national wildlife refuges on beautiful San Diego Bay. The area has long been an underutilized asset. Thriving marinas and parks are juxtaposed with former industrial brownfield property. To the south, a huge outdated power plant seemed a permanent immovable fixture given the number of regulatory agencies involved in its operations. That's all history. The power plant is gone. The waterfront is changing. The Chula Vista Bayfront is fully entitled and shovel ready thanks to a collaborative 10-year process, thoughtful land use planning, a well-considered financing plan, and dedicated efforts by the city, the port, Pacifica, and other stakeholders, including public agencies, environmentalists, civic leaders, and community groups to move the project forward. The port and the city's planning process is based on collaboration and good planning principles. A joint agency planning effort ensured extensive and ongoing public engagement. It improved the plan immeasurably, secured stakeholder buy-in, fostered creative problem solving, and communication. Here's the result. The orange outline represents the master plan boundary. The property includes areas under both the city's and the port's jurisdictions and was planned as a whole rather than as independent entities. To overcome land use limitations mandated by the public trust, a land exchange was used to appropriately locate and activate residential use in the heart of the plan area. 97 acres of privately held land at the north end of the bayfront will be traded for 35 acres of public land in the central portion. It provides additional habitat area and reduces development density adjacent to the wildlife refuge. To ensure the Chula Vista Bayfront Master Plan attracts investors and developers, the master plan is designed to be entirely sustainable within its boundaries. In May 2012, the port and the city entered into a finance agreement. Combining all the revenue streams from the port and the city, such as the port's ground lease revenues, the city's transient occupancy tax and tourism marketing district assessment, and developer impact fees to service the bond debt. Stakeholder input has been ratified with the settlement agreement. This document adds measures to protect the environment beyond those called for in the Environmental Impact Report and required by the California Environmental Quality Act. It addresses issues relating to wildlife and habitat, energy efficiency, building design, public participation, and parks. The negotiated quality of life measures will benefit the public and also ensure continued support from key members of the local environmental community. The Chula Vista Bayfront balances environmental consideration with fiscal opportunity for a high quality project that is perfectly situated to become a world-class destination. The master plan boundary outlined here in orange, is connected to nearly 3,000 acres of sensitive habitat areas. Over three miles of promenades will connect parks and open spaces with stores, cafes, and amenities, and provide educational nature walks near two of the largest local wetland areas. The centerpiece of the initial phase of the Bayfront's commercial development is the Plan Resort Conference Center, the 36.5-acre site is analogous to that of the Hotel del Coronado. Further development of the land alongside the marina 
will house retail, restaurants, and entertainment space, similar in size to Baltimore's Inner Harbor. Three entrances from the heavily traveled I-5 freeway will welcome residents and visitors to the Chula Vista Bayfront. The port will begin construction on H Street in the fall of 2013 for completion in 2014. This main thoroughfare will open up spectacular views toward both the bay and into the marina and thriving harbor area. Pacifica companies will develop the parcel to the east of the marina with a mix including mid and high rise residential units, retail, commercial, and office space, as well as a hotel. In 2012, the California Coastal Commission affirmed the project's viability with its unanimous approval of the Chula Vista Bayfront Master Plan. Fully entitled and shovel ready, development along the Chula Vista Bayfront is eagerly anticipated by a community that fully supports the project.